There's only 24 hours in a day I got a pair of earbuds and I wish there was a way that I could know just what I want to listen to There's 150,000 shows that I'm not sitting through When the world is dark and boring Let us do your exploring Welcome to Pod on Pod, a guide to the world of podcasts because it's not your daddy's radio. We're your hosts. I'm Josh. And I'm Joel. This week on Pod on Pod begins our Listener Appreciation Month. Woohoo! That's right. First of all, we're doubling up our, our output. We're going to give you two podcasts a week, every Monday and every Wednesday throughout the month. You're going to get a new review. The second cool thing about this month is that every single review you're going to hear is going to be from listener submitted shows. That's right. So this week we're going to be talking about the still untitled Adam Savage project. That I think at this point that is the title of the that project. That is the title yeah. of it, yeah. Uh, that's part of the gag. One of the things I want to try to do this month is whenever we got like actual feedback from the listeners saying, hey, we want you to do this show, I'm going to try to include some of that. This show was our most requested show, and so that, therefore it's coming first. First of all, it was submitted by Derek Arnold. Derek says, if you're still taking listeners' appreciation requests for podcasts, I would love to hear a review of Star Talk Radio, which we will get to later in the month, and the still untitled The Adam Savage Project. FYI, I found out about your podcast from the shout out on Stuff You Should Know. I'm new to podcasting since my daily commute time has increased. Love the podcast. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Derek, and I'm glad that you now have time for podcasts. It's a great time to listen to podcasts. It is. Also, Brandon Porter submitted the show. He says, I'm sacrificing two of my favorite podcasts to you <laughs> so that you may send the word out. Uh, he he suggested Hello Internet, which is on the list, Brandon. We'll, we'll try to get there eventually. And the still untitled Adam Savage Project. Also, this came from Emily T. She sent us a list. It was about eight podcasts on this list. I love Emily so much. Oh, is this the one that actually like broke them each down? Yes. Yeah. She sent she sent us a list of eight podcasts from like to love. This was the number four show. It was halfway down the list. So I'm guessing she's just in lust with this one. She says, number four, the still untitled Adam Savage Projects. No more needs to be said when you know that Mythbusters Adam Savage is one of the hosts. They always have some relaxed chats about really interesting subject matter, movie props, Comic-Con, movies, set design, creating, learning life, etc. And then she included a link. So uh, a big appreciation to you, Emily. Those are our uh, listeners that submitted this show this month. So now I guess we ought to get to it. Let's start talking about this thing. All right. On Pod on Pod, what we do every week is we listen to at least three episodes of the podcast if it's one that we haven't already heard in the past and the reason we listen to three episodes is because we feel like if you don't give a show at least that many opportunities you're going to be missing out on a lot of the general rhythms of the show the in jokes etc and you're not really going to know whether that's a show for you or not if you give a show enough opportunities a lot of times they'll surprise you so we listen to three episodes i listen to guardians of the galaxy the Dream Jobs episode, and I also listened to Books and Burner Phones. I wanted to, but I didn't. I almost listened to the whole Best Job, Worst Job, Dream Job trilogy. The whole trilogy? I almost listened to all of them. I stopped myself from listening to The Best Job. I listened to Dream and, and The Worst, and I listened to the very first episode. I'm kind of on the fence of... Doing that as a practice. You mean listening to the first episode of everything? Yes. He, I've done because I used to not do it at all. I almost never went back and listened. And if I did, it was rarely ever the first episode. I think. I think now, unless it's a narrative show like uh, Welcome to Night Vale, or unless it's a very famous podcaster, like he, they were already famous before they started their podcast. In those cases, I might still listen to the first episode, but. For an amateur show, or at least one that's a side job, I almost don't think it's fair to listen to the first episode. Like, even if you, even if it's not your first show, you as the podcaster don't really find your footing until you're four or five I, in a I, lot and, of times. And I agree with what you're saying, but I'm, I'm finding myself that I'm listening to more and more first episodes, even if it's, you know, an amateur podcast, an independent podcast, a, a pro cast, you know. Just to see where it um, comes from. Yeah, man. I, I don't find that it changes my opinion of the show as a whole, but I feel like it inf- it, it informs you the most about the show and what to expect or what, what they want to accomplish. Right. Even if it, they can come off a little raw. 
Yeah, fair enough. The The way that we break a show down here on Pot on Pot is we talk about it with four criteria. We talk about content, host likability, production values, and then the um, audio quality. Uh, we're going to talk about content first. And this show, as Emily sort of discussed, they talk about a little bit of everything. I, I would say that this show leans into the maker direction. If you know that phrase, if you're part of that movement, if you think about yourself as a maker, this show might be for you. Like, Obviously, Adam Savage comes from Mythbuster fame. He's been in the prop business for a long time. He's been doing Mythbusters for a, a long time in and of itself. And he's been this sort of internet go-to geeky guy for a while. He is that in this context that's very loose and relaxed where he can kind of talk about whatever's on the top of his head. I feel like it is a general geek cast. Yeah, I I think that's fair enough. Like it's a it's a very personal pet project. Like these are two guys that Adam likes and the things that Adam wants to talk about. What's crazy is I like I love Mythbusters, right? I've probably seen every episode at least once if not more. And Adam is one of my favorite personalities uh on that show. It's weird hearing him in a podcast, man. I can understand that. Uh I've I've heard him. I don't think I've heard him on anyone else's podcast. I have heard him in long form interviews before outside of MythBusters, so it wasn't that weird to hear him, you know, expound in, in a right, more right. Uh, unstructured environment. But I, it's hard to get a grasp on, or it's hard to explain, other than the loose generalizations that you and I have made exactly what this show is like, because it is very, very loosely formatted. Week to week, the show can change quite a bit. Just because, hey, this week we're we've got a topic, a real topic or a real news item to talk about. I, I do like that it's generally compacted, though. Uh, sure, yeah, I, I think that probably has more to do with his schedule. Time, yeah, yeah, and the fact that podcasting is such a small part of his empire and industry. You know what I mean? Like, I think the fact that the show is called Still Untitled it kind of points you to where it falls on the list of priorities for him. Um, let's move on into host likability. You've already uh, given it away that you're a big Adam Savage fan. You like I, this guy. Right. I, I do. I do. And I, I'm not going to say I like him less f from listening to the show, but I definitely understand that I like him more in a smaller dose format. Understood. Understood. Here's my deal. Other than Carrie, who is no longer on Mythbusters, boo, hiss. Adam is my favorite part of the show. Yeah. I love him. I imagined that I was going to really enjoy his podcast. I knew he had one. I just hadn't gotten to it yet because we're always trying to find new shows. Uh, I was very much right. I do like the show. He and I like him in it. He's very he's progressive and he's funny. He's very intelligent and he's always searching for more answers. I like anybody that's that's like that. I think that shows in the other hosts that I've enjoyed in the past. Let's talk about the other guys for a minute. Will Smith and Norman Chan. Those are your two co-hosts or your two regular co-hosts. Will I believe is the one that anchors the thing. Is that right? It was. It's again, and I feel bad. And I said this in both of my notes about both of them. It's hard to keep up with who they are when you're only listening to three or four episodes. I've listened to three episodes so far. I am subscribed to the show still. I'll probably listen to more. But with that small of a sample size, and since they don't identify themselves every time they speak, it's it's very easy to get lost in the conversation about which one is which. But I'm pretty sure Will was the one that sort of brings it in and 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 anchors the conversation. Maybe I feel like I, f I feel like Norm of the two other co-hosts talked more, or it just seemed that way. Well, I felt like Norm was the third guy. Like he's the one they make fun of Norm a lot. Uh, Will and Adam. Like, Norm is the butt of their jokes quite often. At, at least in the three episodes I listened to. Maybe this was a, a short stretch where they were all mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't bring the donuts. I guess so. Um, it, here's the thing I'll say about Will. I, I don't know much about his background. I'm going to assume, though, that he either came up in podcasting or he used to be a radio guy. He's an audio engineer somewhere along the way. I would be willing to bet because... Good um, quality. Yeah, the show yeah. sounds great, and it's pretty clear that he is the host. All right, so that's host likability. Let's move on to audio quality then. G 
gr- a really good sounding yeah. show. I mean, this show sounds it doesn't have all of the production elements and the general smoothness that say stuff you should know does. But other than stuff you should know, and I didn't listen to every episode, so I don't know. But the three episodes I listened to Consistent. didn't have yeah, they didn't have a yeah. blip at all. They were yeah. great. But again, I think that has to do with the brevity. Like these are not four hour rambling episodes like a Joe Rogan experience or it's something. Like Thirty four minutes. Yeah, 40, forty. I think yeah. forty seven minutes was the longest one yeah. that I listened to. So uh, anyway, the audio quality is top notch, guys. Whoever's behind that. Once we talk about host likability, production. Oh, well, we didn't talk about production values. It's very minimal. My yeah, love it. I figured that you were going to really like that. Gets 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 in, gets out. Isn't pretentious. It. It's a conversation, and in your normal everyday life, the dialogues and the conversations that you have with people don't have a, a freaking cuckoo clock chiming in the background because you said something wacky. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and it'll make quite the juxtaposition, I think, with the show that we're going to review on Wednesday of this week. Ooh. Uh, let's let's go on then and talk about, once we uh, to break down through the four qualities of the show or the four criteria of the show, we like to talk about our favorite moments. Do you have any particular favorite moments that spring to mind? Um, yes, I do. I love that in the, uh, it may have been the worst Jobs episode, that Adam really wants his kids first jobs are early on to be in in the in the fast food industry man in the food industry if you've ever worked in the food industry it is people are jerks man all day long all every day. day long all every kinds day. of people they're all jerks everybody is i'm not gonna say all of, <laughs> enough of them are to make you feel that way yeah and i think that 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 lays a great foundation for empathy and a work ethic I agree, uh, and I and I love the fact that he he's into that idea. It also, I mean, especially for somebody like Adam Savage, it, his children are probably not going to come into contact with most of the people that they would work alongside in that McDonald's in any other capacity as equals than when they work at McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just based on like where the, where they're going to go to school, the kinds of clubs they're going to be members of, et cetera, et cetera. Like the 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 just head start that they'll have in life coming from a well off family and a, and a famous father. All right, if you've ever worked for tips, like people who have been waiters in the food industry, always tip the best because they get it. Yeah. That's anyway. That's you're right. That's a great idea. I didn't hear that episode. That is a great um, moment. My favorite moment is a little simpler, uh, a little rawer. I, I believe it came from the from the favorite jobs episode, the dream jobs episode. Excuse me. I listened to the dream jobs episode, and in in a, a just a, a a blur, Adam jumps into the middle of. I think Will was talking, and Adam says, "Ooh, I have a great cat whole story." <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my favorite moment overall. And yeah, you know that's what? Awesome. It was a great story. It was indeed. You'll have to go and listen to that episode yourself. Once we talk about favorite moments, we like to give the show alternate titles. You know, a lot of thought goes into most podcast titles. I don't think that was the case necessarily with the, with still untitled the Adam Savage Project. But let's let's uh, give this one I some think, suggestions. I think you're wrong. I think it had episodes and episodes and episodes. I thought put into it. Probably so, where they before talked about it, it and talked about it. Before and now it was it's, just like, eh, we've already done so it's many. It's still untitled. It, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. I would call this the Savage Cast. I would think that would be a that would I be a fine reason. I think there's already a Savage Cast. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay, maybe Dan Savage has one that's uh, called no, the Savage I, Cast. Uh, never mind. I think that's Savage Love, maybe? I don't know. There's mm. a couple of guys named Savage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, how about Maker's Union? See, I thought about that, and then I was like, maybe Maker's Mark, or maybe Marks of Makers, I don't, something like that. Yeah, there, yeah, I think there's definitely a title with Makers in it. Or you could just go with Show and Tell. No? Oh. There's no visual uh, element, I suppose. I think you could just call it Savages. Savages. <laughs> Bloody Savages. Yeah, I recently watched, uh, it was Clerk's 20th yes. anniversary, and Dante, like, Bloody Savages. <laughs> this town's full of savages. The I like savages that in this town. That's that's uh, that's Dante uh, and Randall approved right there. Once we uh, oh, I'm go sorry, th- it's Randall that says it. 
There you go. Once you go through the whole show and you uh, talk about all of those items, we're going to have to give the show an overall rating. We don't rate things with stars or thumbs up, anything like that. We give it earbuds in. How how focused are you on the show when you're listening? I'm going to give it – I really enjoyed the show a lot. I am – currently subscribed i'm probably going to stay subscribed because I, it's not like he's putting out for a week and i can't keep up with it or anything and they're brief they're compact and well edited and and the audio is always great i'm going to give it one and a half earbuds it's not my favorite show and as you said it is a little bit of a general geek cast but it's yeah. a geek cast with yeah. guys i like so i'm going to stick with it and i think that's where the value is if you like adam savage you're probably going to like the show i thought of one person to recommend this show to off the top of my head, like while I was listening to it, I'm not going to stay subscribed to it. Uh, there's a lot of other geek casts out there that I prefer to it, but because I think it has value and I already know people I'm going to recommend it to, I'm going to give it a one. Nice. All right. So two and a half earbuds for the still untitled Adam Savage project from Pod on Pod. Uh, hey, folks, uh, real quick, before we wrap up this show, I want to tell you a way that you can help us out. This is Listener Appreciation Month. But if you appreciate what we're doing here for you listeners. That's, then, uh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Do you like that? You can go to our website, podonpod.com. And uh, underneath every single entry, under this entry, as a matter of fact, and, and all the recent ones, there's a little link. That link goes directly to a survey where you can tell us a little bit about you. It's not any kind of demographic information. We're not going to spam you. Uh, we're not going to do any of that kind of – well, it is demographic information. It's not specific information. What we're looking for is a better idea of who our listeners are, how we can serve them better, and very specifically, what sort of sponsors might be interested in helping us out bring you – more and better content. So hello, ladies. <laughs> hello, ladies. Uh, you can find that by going to, hang on a minute, I'm going to find the link to actually give them the direct link here. You can either go directly to this URL, survey.libsyn.com slash pod on pod, or you can find that link at podonpod.com. Just click on any of the recent episodes and uh, you can uh, find the link right there under the posted show. So, podonpod.com, find that link, and answer. fill out the survey for us. And here's a, a little kicker for you, Josh, to, just to, to make it a little sweeter. And you're not eligible for this, by the way. A little bit of honey? Yeah. Some, somebody that uh, registers and fills out this survey and, and helps us out in this way is going to win a $25 iTunes gift card. We're going to give that away once we uh, fill up with registrations. We're going to be taking registrations all month for that survey. So uh, you can help us out like that. You can also help us out by reviewing us in iTunes or Stitcher or just share Sharing us with a friend. That's really the best way for our show to grow. Thank you so much for checking us out and uh, come back on Wednesday when we'll have another review up for you. Wednesday, we're going to talk about the Bionic Broadcast. That's right. It's our next show as Listener Appreciation Month continues here at Pod on Pod. Until next week, we're your hosts. I'm Josh. I'm Joel. See you later. Pod on Pod is a proud member of the Procast Network, a Procreate production. Procreate is a community of artists in film, music, the digital arts, and fine arts that helps connect and collaborate on projects. You can find out more at www.teamprocreate.com. For more great podcasts from the Procast Network, try Movie Buzzed. Join your host, Zach, every episode on the Movie Buzzed podcast for good friends, a good movie, and a great buzz. The Pot on Pot theme song is written and performed by Adam Dale. Find his music in iTunes and more information about him on our website. Our musical guest this week is Brian Donahoe.